Hey guys, I'm, it's the Deej. In this session, I want to talk about one of the most important things in terms of marketing that I can't believe I haven't made a video on yet. And I just got off the phone with a woman. I realized, I said, I want to send her this video. I'm like, I don't have this. It's crazy. This is like a really important aspect of how you're going to market your services. And it, it it's two parts. The first part is stop repelling your prospects with your message and then learn how to attract people with your message. Uh, you understand that there's different parts of the sale. The marketing aspect is no place to be selling. The marketing aspect is just for attracting. Marketing brings you into the store, sales slams the door behind you before you get out. Different technology, different words. So the three words that repel are I, we and us. A lot of times when I'm giving uh, presentations out there, I ask people to go ahead and explain your process, explain what you guys do without using the words I, we, or us. And you find that it's pretty impossible. Take some time and try to do it. Pause this and just try to do it. You know, what do you do? Well, what we do is uh, we come into companies and then we do this and then we do that. And we, we've been around for 7,000 years and we've done and all that stuff. And all the time, the prospect is thinking, when are they going to start talking about me? And so there's an easy way to do that. And the way you do that is convert your message. Instead of saying the words that repel, you say the three words that are track attract, which you probably can figure out, which is you, yours, and uh, I'm in the South here, so we say y'all, but if you were in New Jersey, you would say use guys or whatever, or you all, or whatever you want to play with, but the optimal word is you. So how do you do it, and how do you transfer that? Well, there's, there's, a, um, there's a pattern for it. There's a way to do it. And the way, watch out. I just did a spin around for you so you could see the back side of me. Um, so what you do is you start it like this. I wonder if this red one looks. You want to use the word you and yours and y'all as much as possible and use the I, we, and us as little as possible. So if you are like most of the people we work with, see, I put a we in there. So now most of the people, you can add uh, superlatives in here. You can add adjectives in here. If, if you're like the other successful people that we work with, if you're like other uh, insurance agents that we work with, if you're like the other financial planners that we work with, successful financial planners that we work with, you have, and so another you, you want, you have, you worry about, you, and you just, you know, pick whatever it is. What you want to do is find out the problems of your prospect and talk about that. The goal of this is to get them to nod their head. So if you're like the other insurance agents that we work with, you want like three things. You want three main things. You want uh, more uh, opportunities for clients. You want more high net worth individuals and you want the skills to be able to close them on the first try. And then you finish it with the last one. Am I pretty close to the truth? And as I'm saying this, I'm nodding my head. Hey, if you're like most uh, uh, financial planners, uh, uh, you have like three main worries. You worry that you're uh, you're not getting enough re referral business. You're unable to continue to get more leads uh, and your clients are dying. Am I pretty close to the truth? And so uh, if that was you, you've nodded your head four times without me talking about what I do at all. And I'm putting all my attention on the only person you care about, which is you. So if, if, if you're like, uh, if you're like most of the other successful, um, IT firms we work with, uh, you have three main concerns when it comes to new sales. Uh, you want to get more new, uh, more new sales from larger companies and you want those companies to be able to make a decision very quickly. Am I pretty close to the truth? Yes, yes, and yes. And so you kind of imply that that's your solution without saying it. And if they're interested in that, they're going to say, yes, exactly. How do you do that? And now you're in the, now you're in a different conversation. Now you've moved from the attraction. You've moved from the billboard that says, yes, I'm hungry for that Subway sandwich. And you've walked into the store 
and now they have an opportunity to buy something. This, when you're marketing, the biggest test that you need to do is try to sell your, try to tell people what you do without using you, yours, or y'all. It's a great, I mean, I'm sorry, without using I, we, and us. Tell some people, it's a, it's a great practice for you to do. Do that, get this thing back uh, together, practice it, drill, rehearse, and it's so uh, comfortable when you're making it easy for your prospect to say yes. All right, go get them today. Look forward to seeing you on the next session. Go get them.